Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For a free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish and Thai. Ciepło, witam, radośnie widzowie. Jestem Marlena z Łodzi w inspirującej Polsce. Z mieszanką starodawnych miast i naturalnych krajobrazów Polska stała się jednym z ulubionych celów podróży dla turystów. Kraj szczyci się 22 parkami narodowymi, około 1200 rezerwatami przyrody, ponadto 100 parkami krajobrazowymi oraz 400 obszarami chronionymi. Obecna stolica Warszawa nadal zachowuje historyczne ulice, kościoły i budynki. Mottem miasta jest Contemnit Procelas, co znaczy zawsze niezwyciężona. Warszawskie Stare Miasto znajduje się obecnie na liście Światowego Dziedzictwa Organizacji Narodów Zjednoczonych do Spraw Nauki, Kultury i Edukacji. Z wysoko rozwiniętą kulturą Polska szczyci się też utalentowanymi laureatami Nagrody Nobla w literaturze, w tym pisarzami Wisławą Szymborską, Henrykiem Sienkiewiczem, Władysławem Rejmontem i poetą Czesławem Miłoszem. Kwintesencja polskiego wpływu na muzykę została uwieczniona w pracach sławnego na całym świecie kompozytora Fryderyka Chopina, rodowitego Polaka. Polska jest także miejscem urodzenia jednego z najbardziej ukochanych przywódców religijnych, jego świątobliwości zmarłego papieża świętego Jana Pawła II. Mam zaszczyt podzielić się z Wami krótkim wprowadzeniem o naszej ukochanej Polsce. Modlimy się do nieba, by błogosławił Was boską mądrością i duchową chwałą. Na 30 lat najwyższa mistrzyni Ching Hai proświetla nasz świat swoimi niebiańskimi naukami. Jako w pełni oświecony mistrz przekazuje ona metodę medytacji Kuan Yin tym, którzy pragną natychmiast odnaleźć boską naturę wewnątrz i osiągnąć w ciągu jednego życia wieczne wyzwolenie z cyklu transmigracji. Metodą Kuan Yin praktykowali wszyscy oświeceni mistrzowie, tacy jak Budda, Jezus Chrystus, prorok Mahomet, niech pokój będzie z nim i Guru Nanak. Podkreśla, że jeżeli zawsze pamiętamy o Bogu, świadczymy bezinteresowną pomoc innym i przestrzegamy praw tego wszechświata, to osiągniemy najwyższy ludzki potencjał i naprawdę zrozumiemy swój cel na ziemi. Najwyższa mistrzyni Jing Hai jest niezwykłym żyjącym przykładem współczucia, regularnie przysyłając materialną i finansową pomoc, jak również miłość uchodźcom, bezdomnym, ofiarom klęsk żywiołowych oraz innym potrzebującym pomocy. 
2006 roku otrzymała pokojową nagrodę GUSI, uznawaną za pokojową nagrodę Nobla Wschodu i została uhonorowana w przeciągu lat licznymi innymi nagrodami i wyróżnieniami za jej wybitną filantropię i pomoc humanitarną. Jako prawdziwy głos dla naszych pięknych przyjaciół zwierząt promuje ona pokojową i kochającą dietę roślinną oraz wyobraża sobie wraz z przebudzeniem ludzkości do świętości wszelkiego życia spokojny i chwalebny w pełni wegański świat, gdzie zwierzęta i ludzie żyją w błogiej harmonii. Jej inicjatywy rozpowszechniania wegańskiego trendu są zróżnicowane i obejmują dystrybucję ulotek Alternatywne Życie, Międzynarodową Sieć Wegańskich Restauracji Loving Hut, Supreme Master Television, jak również regularne przemowy do wpływowych rządów i szefów mediów oraz uczestnictwo w telewizyjnych konferencjach na temat zmian klimatycznych. Czy jesteśmy tego świadomi, czy nie? Jej wysiłki mają niezmiernie wielki wpływ na globalną świadomość przyjaznego zwierzętom stylu życia oraz tego, jak ten życzliwy sposób bycia może przenieść trwały pokój między narodami i tym samym ratując naszą planetę przed zmianami klimatu. Przez lata najwyższa mistrzyni Jing Hai podróżowała po całym świecie, od obu Ameryk po Afrykę, od Europy po Oceanię odbywając setki rozmów z publicznością i swymi uczniami na różnego rodzaju duchowe tematy. Dzisiaj jesteśmy błogosławieni przedstawić jeden z wnikliwych wykładów zatytułowany Bądź doskonałym narzędziem Bożym, by błogosławić świat, część druga z dwóch między mistrzem a uczniami, udzielony w języku angielskim 11 listopada 2017 roku w Sihu, Tajwan, zwanym też jako Formosa. Yesterday, one person just left, don't want to continue working. And then the other person upset and said, I don't worry, it's just too much ego. Eight and a half percent, that's too much to stay around and working in a humble situation and living in such a humble uh, condition. Yeah, caves. <laughs> But they have all the food, you know, I order the best chef for them. Bring every day and then or whatever they need, they write down and they get it. Cave is warm, you know, we have heater, we have fans, we have water outside, you know. When you walk out of your cave and you have a porch, so when you put your shoes, it doesn't get wet, you put your umbrella and you have a little sink, naturally made. It's not bought from the market, made by stones, you know. Yeah, I design. So every cave have a stone sink outside. And we have water, running water even. My God, what else you need, right? <laughs> and you have public bathroom toilet with hot running water even. Oh, by the way, is your bathroom have hot water already? Yes. Yeah, I say they have to. Must every bathroom, or shower, toilet have to have heater. Yeah. Now, I don't know if they have before or not, but I have written, they have to do it, and always check to see if in, in order. If not, you have to tell somebody immediately, okay? Somebody maybe sit there, and then they contact whoever is responsible to fix your hot water, okay, huh? Yeah, by the way, we are going to make a, a, some tent area, you know, because they told me that this kind of tent, they call trust tent, trust tent, trust, T-R-U-S-S. -S don't need permission before, during or after. So we're going to put up 10 area over there for you. And if it's cold, we cover around it. So it's like a room, and then you can put your tent inside there, or we can use it sometime for talking if it's raining, okay? So then, then you're going to get warmer. And I told them to have to build some toilets and shower and open sink, the sink outside. You can do it with cement, you know, like a cubic. You know, a long cement uh, with the waste water pipe, yeah? And then you can sit there chatting while brushing your teeth <laughs> in the open air, fresh air, everything together, yeah? Camaraderie, you know? Yeah. Did you brush your teeth well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, okay, okay. No problem. I can't. <laughs> you can brush your teeth twice in time. <laughs> I can do that. When I brush my dog's teeth, I can chat to that tendon sometimes. Okay. Talking is also tiring, you know? You dispense your energy. So talk less. The, more, the less you talk, the better you conserve your inside power, okay? Not just spiritual power, yeah. psychic power. Yeah? Psychic power, including hearing power, seeing power, knowing power. Yeah? Some of you develop more, some less. Because talk too much, everything goes out. <laughs> Understand? Yeah. We come back to the ego stuff. Ah, that person never says, oh, he has too much ego. Eight, eight and a half percent is too much. Yeah. So he worry his ego, the, the one who, who is sad. I said, don't worry, you have only one percent left. <laughs> if if sometime it rises up, I will cut it for you, don't worry. But eight and a half percent, it takes a long time to cut. You cut just a little bit, he already gone. <laughs> you understand what I mean? So you can't. You can't fix a person too, too much when he has too much ego. And, and that the person who, 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 who is sad about the other person left, he said, Oh, Master, one percent. Can, can you cut it also? I said, No. I said, That's the minimum you need to survive in this world, to have some pushing motivation. Because if you have no ego at all, <laughs> you're not a master. You don't want to do anything anymore. You have no motive, no, no, no pushing motivation power. Understand that? So little ego need a lot, no good. Up to 2%, it's okay <laughs> to stay and be so-called resident. Yeah, really. I'm too busy, you know, I can't chat all the time. I don't really like chatting unless it's, it's really necessary or beneficial, just like this. You think I'm talking a lot now here in front of you? You should see me when I'm with somebody else, alone or with a couple of people. Understand me? Yeah? Sometimes I watch movies with them because something educational. So sometimes we stop the movie and I, and I explain, you know, this situation. That person reacts like that, although it looks very good and heroic, but it's not like that. You see, you have to see through behind the energy of that topic, behind motive of that person and the situation. Um, for example, for example, uh, we were watching a film and there was a prince and there was a servant, not his servant, but servant for another person. And then for some reason, uh, he has to come to her house and try to be a normal person. But the first night he, he wouldn't know what, what the idea how to be a normal person. <laughs> you understand? Yes. So. He probably asked her, he asked her, is that my bed, you know? Because her house only one room, one bed. But of course he didn't know anything yet. So he said, is that my bed? I mean, his bed? And she, she said, yes. And so he dropped dead, you know? Because the prince is not like, he just go out all day and everybody say, hi, your majesty, you look good today, you know? And many girls are running, it's not like that. It has a lot of work to do, huh? I mean, some prince, maybe not, but the prince in that film has a lot of work to do. He has to practice his swarmanship, swarmanship all day, you know, in the morning at least. And then afternoon, maybe he has to go and pacify some, some rebellious group and fighting and that, and then many other things to do, yeah, for his people, to help his father. So he was tired, of course, in the evening, yeah? And he normally, servant would bring water to him. Of course, over there, there's no... He said, is there any water here? She said, no. So he said, bring me some water. Uh, and then she kind of didn't want to. Uh, he didn't even say, bring in water. She said, oh, I really need a shower. And then she said, shall I go outside and bring you water? And he didn't answer, because he didn't know what to say. So she said, shall I? And then... He didn't answer, so she went out and fetched water, meaning not willing. Understand? He's a guest in your house. Even he wants to be ordinary, 
prince, he needs time. Yeah, even if you don't like something, you tell him. How does he know? He has not even a mother to teach him. His mother died. He has only a very strict father to take care of. You understand? Very strict father, brought up like a prince. You know, a prince supposed to never apologize and all that, but what kind of prince they want, I don't know. <laughs> if you do wrong, you apologize. I apologize all the time. If I say something wrong or if I forget to thank you, then I say, sorry, I forgot to thank you. I appreciate it. Good job. Yeah? Or I wrote notes, I say, thank you. You're doing a good job. It was very fast, very efficient, something like that. And then if they do something wrong, I wrote it down. I say, that's supposed to be, do that, do this. You know, I do it all the time with Supreme Master Television. That's why I work very hard, before and now. And mostly it just write down, you know, so that they can keep it. And then they should, I say, you should print all the things that I corrected and my instruction, everybody should read it. So in case I die, you know which direction or why I correct like this and why I do that. So you continue the job. Because one of them say, Master, ah, because sometimes you know, people come, you know, mess in my house, you know, around my house, sneaking around and rattle the window, want to come in and all that. And then they were so scared, and then I just sit there and I said, ah, don't worry, they're gone already, all of you. So many people come with a lot of flashlight. Whoever that was must have been gone already. Just, just go back, do your SMTV work, because that's more important than me. They said, no, no, Master, no, you are more important, because if you're not here, uh, one person said, I don't know what to do. I so probably broke down. I probably have nothing to live for. I, I'll probably die. I said, no, you won't die. You have a lot to live for. You continue to do Surimata television to help others. That's what you should do, not die. Hmm? <laughs> so I said they should print out, you know, a copy of all the things that I instructed or correct it, yes, so that they can learn how I'm doing things. Everybody should know that, yes. And if they don't understand why I corrected such things, because it seemed logical before, why should I even bother to correct? It's similar fashion, but different wording, or completely different word, whereas the other one would do in the eyes of the world, for me not. We have to say things that is really perfect. Yeah, even small words have to be perfect, so the effect is stronger and deeper into the hearts of humankind. Because one word wrong is wrong. <laughs> no matter how many words, when it's wrong, it's not right. And sometimes they, they formulate differently. It could offend people. You understand? Yes. Or overdoing. So I have to do this, check this all the time. And now they are having it, so they study it. You know, everybody, I say everybody have to also study another person's uh, skill, in case that person not available. He lives, and you can take his place. Yeah. Everybody has to learn from each other all the time, because we don't have a lot of skilled people. Yeah. And by the way, I thank all the Supreme Master TV staffs again, the one who worked, in the main office and the one who, ones who work outside in the world. I thank you for your time, your dedication, your sacrifice. <clears throat> Sometimes some, some people left because they still have desire to be somebody in the world. I treasure my staff because they work behind the screen, you know? Nobody knows them. I don't want anybody to know them, because once they are known, you know, they've been snatched up quickly, and I have nobody anymore then. I treasure them very much, so I shield them from, uh, from harms, different kind. And some, sometimes they live because they want to be this and that person in the society, and so that 
earn money so that they can take care of their future wife or whatever, if they even have any. I say, the job that you wanted to do, everyone else can do it if they learn. But the job that you're doing here, money cannot pay, money cannot buy, and greater than any job you can have in the world. You do great things. You help billions of beings daily, at least millions. You make them happy, you make them smile, and maybe you lead them to liberation, to come to us, or even leading to find another master, no matter what, wake their soul up, yeah? So that they think of spirituality, free themselves. Does it matter with me or not with me? And not to talk about the blessing through the screen every day. I have to look at all the all the host before it comes out. I check, now I do that. And then I look at all the hosts, make sure they have enough blessing power. Before they don't show the host a lot, they even just give a voice and no face, nothing, or the face very little, or the face too old, <laughs> don't go on screen, I use them all. Before I go out on the screen, they are loaded with blessing power so that whoever look at them on the screen, the outsider people there, get the blessing they need, uh, that they can assimilate. That's why I told them now. I keep telling them before, but they didn't do it. So I have to keep reminding, reminding. Put the host image more out. Don't hide them. Because the news is just the news. Okay? Other people are just other people. But my host, they are instruments a blessing to the world. That's why we're doing it. That's why I make myself also look beautiful, because attractive image attract people to look more. <laughs> it's good for you, but not too good for me. <laughs> Understand? Yeah, makeup is a troublesome thing. And blessing people is not fun. <laughs> it's good. I love to do it. I'm willing to. It's just like, not like I gain anything. That's what I meant. Okay? Not I gain anything. What should I gain for? Huh? Maybe somebody marry me and be my husband, and then what I do? I work until 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. What kind of husband would wait there? <laughs> and then I drop that on my sofa. Or I meditate, or I sleep, or I have to do inner job. So whoever marry me, if they do, please feel sorry for me, <laughs> not to be jealous. So what do I gain here? Nothing, okay? Don't ever bother thinking that I want to attract you. Yes, I do. But for your own good, hmm? even for my host. So I tell them you have to make yourself like movie stars. So you see, even the people before you saw them just look like ordinary, even old people, I make them look beautiful. Don't you think so? Yes. Yeah, to detail. Because some people have <laughs> black teeth. <laughs> yeah, we have to spend two, three hours to fix his teeth to make it a little bit more, more normal. Yeah, some people, they have blackened teeth maybe before initiation or even after they drink too much coffee or before they smoke too, too long. Yeah? And even now if they quit but their teeth, they didn't bother to to go whiten in it, or because their teeth are like that, due to the water that they drink where they stay. Some water has too much uh, fluoride, you know, and it might damage your teeth, even though fluoride is good for you. But in too much of quantities, or too long a time, it, it could be damaging to your teeth. So make sure you take care of yourself, okay? If your teeth are blackened, go to the dentist, ask him what to do. Not without too much damage to your health, not too much chemical or something. I had to ask, okay? Not too much chemical. If you want a boyfriend or girlfriend, take care of yourself. Hmm? You can't force somebody to love you when you don't look the, the part, okay? You have to look the part. Hmm? In the movies, you see every character, they have, their, they, have their, they have their role to play, but they have their own personality in it to fit the part. They have to bring themselves into that roles in order to make it alive and convincing. Same, if you want to have a girlfriend, a boyfriend, just check out what she likes, yeah? How to look, 
in order to attract other people. Hmm? But the best is you polish yourself inside so that you can attract more blessing from heaven. Because this world, no matter how beautiful you are, one day we will lay in just a coffin and we'll be scattered like wind, you know, in the wind of our ashes. Only the beauty inside, inside remains and helps you, make you happy. <laughs> okay then, I talk too much again. See you later. Good appetit. <laughs> I love you. I do anything for you. And that is true. Anything at all. Okay. So. Ah. Food, huh? Mm-hmm. Thank you, huh? Thank you, all the workers and cameramen and audio men and who far and uh, the running around. <laughs> thank you, thank you, huh? See you later. Yeah. Ah, we we go eat something. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. See you guys. Love you a lot. How are you, man? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know why I'm speaking English. Ah, thank you. 真正的对不起, thank you all, all you guys, workers, thank you, thank you. Uh, 谢谢大家, huh? <laughs> 真的抱歉, <laughs> 道歉, 道歉, okay? 忘记了, 就讲英文了, 就顺路就讲下去了, <laughs> 因为最近啊, 做SMTV, 我都改, 改稿, 都是改英文嘛, 懂不懂? 跟他们沟通是沟通英文的, 因为不同的那个国家的人嘛，都是用英文呐，所以那个就忘记了。事实上是这样。I <笑> am sorry, forgive me. <笑> 原谅, OK, 原谅啊，以后提醒我一下就好了。OK, okay? 如果我再讲英文，就举手抗议 no. <笑> 在台湾讲中文。事实上，我应该就应该讲客家话了啊。<笑> 不过真的是太忙了，学那么多语言，然后我没时间照顾大家。哈，谅解谅解。Okay, I love you。我爱你们。我什么都可以，就为了你们，什么都会做的。真正的什么都会的，知道了。哈，OK，Goodbye。失陪。那个这个。开车的那个世界啊他太爱心了我叫他停在外面让我走路下来就好了不麻烦了他说太多师傅走不好怎么会这样到这种程度没那么多啊是吗可以走路啊他大概看我太老了关系吧太老了保护心太严重了照顾老
dużo krzyżowców, płaszczyzny świadomości, część pierwsza z czterech w słowach mądrości. Niech wasze dni będą obdarzone chwałą i piękną nieba. May the glory and beauties of heaven grace your days. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash pmd.